Then it was turned into an army thing, then it became a bird thing, and a museum or whatever. Henry Fonda stationed here, I think, for a bit. Unless he was Navy. Who's Henry Fonda? Around Christmas time, this little breakfast place used to sell these amazing polar bear sugar cookies. Man, those were good. And then one year they changed the formula or whatever and ruined it. Alex? Hey, still with us? You haven't said anything for like 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah, my... My mind drifted for a second. Alright, well, hang on. What is the name? My name is Nurse Guy, and welcome to Oxygen. Oh, no, this looks terrible. Hang on, let me fix this so you guys can actually see the game. I didn't even know this. Oh, welcome to Oxygen Freeze. Hey, I didn't know what the game is. It, it came out, and everybody was playing, and I was like, yo, I have to hop on this. So, so we're here. 8 p.m. So, you all moved in? Um, not, not really. I just got in this morning. And how did her mom meet your dad exactly? <laughs> they met on vacation in Orlando. He got lost in a... You know, actually, I'm not even gonna tell this story. It's really not worth it. <laughs> okay. No, wait, what happened? I feel like I haven't heard this. He got lost in some gardens, and he thought she worked there, and blah blah blah, they hit it off. Aww. Uh... Hey, there's an old ship's wheel up here. It's a replica from a Portuguese caravel, it says? Uh, yeah. Yeah, I think the Portuguese discovered the island. I don't know. I mostly slept through the maritime portion of history class. And you guys just met tonight? Yeah, I was, um... I'd been out of school, and the timing had just never worked out, so... And what does that make you to her, then? A, uh, second cousin? He's my stepbrother. <laughs> oh, yeah. I forgot that was even a thing. Wow. Well, at least you seem cool, right? Cool guy, cool head. You get a cool new sibling, living right in your house. Sharing your toothbrush. Wearing your clothes. Eating... Yeah, no, it's a nice perk, I guess. Unless you're like a pyro or something. Just a klepto. So, you're in luck. Oh, so... How do you two know each other? Oh, from way back when, like Paleozoic. Grade school era. Young enough that I've seen her in a bathtub and it wasn't sexual at all. I mean, we both looked like little skinned potato blobs. <laughs> and to date, that's still what I think she looks like under her clothes. What? Check under your seat to make sure you don't leave behind any grandchildren. Uh, wait, who's talking right now? It's a recording. They always play. Oh, oh, we should get a quick picture. All of us. This will be like the before shot. They're on yeah, their... let's do it. And it's Jonas? Not Jonah? Yeah, Jonas. Like Jonas Salk? Right, patient zero, AIDS guy. It's, um, biblical, right? Or is that the lion guy? I think every name's biblical, so probably. Yeah, probably. Here's good. Come on, Alex, join the fun! I, I do this. Oh, I guess it, I guess it figures out. There! Great! I'll magic erase all the warts out and stuff, so don't worry. Hey, Alex, you brought the radio, right? The yeah, little dude. portable one? Yeah, of course. Perfect! Can you pull it out a second? There's the little guy. Our high school has a radio station, and Carly, she's a friend of ours. She's filling in because Reggie got mono from some track runner or something. It doesn't matter. What matters is that she's gonna say something like, basically, right now, about our thing, so tune it to 88.3 so I can tell her we heard it. Which I played because that song's been stuck in my head since I woke up this morning. But, oh, oh, actually, it's a little after 10 o'clock, which means my dear friend Ren and his buddies are probably just touching down on Edwards Island for the yearly bash on the beach or whatever we call it now. But anyways, I promised him that I'd play a song from his band, so hope you're listening, Ren. Here are the red-headed bedwetters with baby carrots. Ha <laughs> ha! 
<laughs> That's awesome. I hope Christina, with her talent show judge face, was listening. So wait, I'm, I'm so confused where we're going right now, dude. I we must be getting right. close. There's no radio reception on the island. I'm glad I got to hear it before it went totally kaput. If we can't use it, why'd you bring it? Not just for the boat. Um, no. You'll see. I don't expect too much, but nah, it'll be fun. I won't undercook it. You'll see. Oh, that's how we actually look. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. I look pretty adorable, actually. I like my blue hair. That's like probably that's like the only redeeming quality about me right now. It's just it's like yeah, dude, yeah, dude. Smell that clean air, boys and girls, <laughs> boy and girl. This ain't city living. Yeah. Um. Anybody need a smoke? I have a full pack. Uh, oh. Uh. No thanks. I mean, I literally just said the clean air thing. So. Alex, you can bum one off me if you're empty. I forget if you're a fellow addict. Oh, you know what? She doesn't smoke either. So. <laughs> okay. Just checking. All right, my other friend should be up and around the bend. Actually, that, I mean, I don't mean to be the guy to break us up already, but Ren, can you do me a favor? Can I have like two real quick minutes with Alex for a second? And you can, you know, you can run up and meet your friends. Uh, really? Wait, is, is something wrong? What is it? Nothing's wrong, nothing's wrong. It'll just take two minutes, super fast. All right, but <laughs> uh, look, I, I don't want to go up by myself. I mean, can't we just stick together? You're gonna have all night to say, like, whatever. But since you want to meet up with your friends anyway... We're all gonna meet up with them. It's like No, a... it's... it's fine, Ren. Go on up ahead and we'll catch up with you. Um, okay. I guess. Though this is a really strange way to start off, splitting up. It'll be fast. Thanks, man. I'll just be up the hill, in case... whatever. Ren seems nice. He's funny. You know? Reminds me of a guy I know back home. Yeah, I mean, he's harmless. But, yeah, he's nice. Listen, I just wanted to grab you ahead of time and say you've been cool about everything. And I guess it's just for me, I, I, I've never moved anywhere. And like, getting a new family at the same time kind of feels like I'm skipping the training wheels. And not that it's been bad or anything. You and your mom have been great. Yeah, I'm sure you miss your friends. Eh, there's not much- When the flag is flying, we are... funning. Um, I think it's supposed to say running. Oh. Oh, and thanks for setting up the attic for me. It's cool how it's like a little bedroom. I was in the basement at my old house, so this is- Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I heard- um, I think from my mom that you, uh... Went to jail? Yeah, well... Don't believe everything you hear. We can catch back up with Ren now. I didn't mean to take so long. Let's go, bro. It's kinda kitschy. Right? It's kinda kitschy? Yeah, it's like a quiche. Uh, I think they block this off at night since... Nobody needs to use it, or maybe they just had a parade? Sure, either one. Uh, if nobody lives here and the stores are all closed, whose car is this? Oh, there's always that one lonely car in every parking lot. Yeah, but isn't that the one that normally gets like broken into or someone dies there or something like that? Ah. <sighs> I forgot this was even here. It's a monument to some submarine that was sunk off the coast. Oh, do the, the, um, the radio guide thing they talked about on the boat, you know? It's what, but like 102.3? I just want to see how it works. Uh, okay, sure. Yeah, 102.3, right? I think they said it's 102.3. Oh, uh, maybe I heard wrong. The USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year under I've the never heard of this before. Kind of creepy in a way, on right? Yeah. I hate thinking about it. It reminds me of those scenes in movies where the sailors have to seal somebody up to drown or else the flooding will take the whole ship, you know? 
Yeah, no, I always thought submarine duty was like the worst possible war assignment. There's nowhere to go if something goes wrong. And claustrophobia. Named after the Hawaiian god of the sea, the USS Kanaloa was launched on January 15th, 1941, and commissioned into service at the end of that year. Parks and Facilities Office. Friend's sister Allison used to work there. You'd like her. She's tall. <laughs> um, alright. She's tall. She has no redeeming qualities. She's just really tall. Man, they close up early. I guess no point in staying open if nobody's here. Hello, kids. Look, the other guys That's and girls must be further up, so be quick now. Okay, speed read definition of Edwards Island. This is a tourist trap with shops and a beach. Nobody lives here except for some geriatric named Mrs. Adler. But, as God is my witness, we'll never mention her or any other old person's name again. We are here to drink and be stupid, a tradition apparently started by bored recruits in the 1950s who would sneak dates over from the coastal towns. They literally called it trawling. Uh-huh. Wow, that's actually kind of funny. Yeah, it's like kids at camp or whatever. So, the beaten path officially ends here. The beach is past the fence. I think Jerry told me that there's a way that you should... Huh? Like, what? To get over oh. there, but... Oh, I have a map! Oh, that's cool! Okay. I'm blanking on what it was. But it's not... I mean, it can't be too difficult. So, to summarize, Every time we are you... not allowed here after dark, the town is shut down, and we, the Kamina High Junior Class, have come to commit improper acts. I think the dumpster will get us over if it'll budge. Well, let's try it. Anyways, the town's youths keep the whole slink over and camp thing alive and well. No, 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 I, um, I, I got it. Uh, yeah, isn't this supposed to be like a giant swarming animal mask wearing freakout? Where's everybody else? Jesus, Alex, it's just supposed to be like a somewhat oversized kegger, and I think more people are coming. And the other thing is the Weirdo Caves. Weirdo Caves? The whole reason Alex brought her radio is because when you go to the... It's like the front. The mouth? The mouth of this particular cave, you can sometimes pick up frequencies to stations that don't exist. You'll hear voices or just sounds. And they're impossible. No, there must be some kind of logical explanation. Like, like the rocks are somehow able to conduct lower frequencies or pick up broadcasts from further away or something. Or, it's aliens. So, back up a second. Who's Mrs. Adler? Her family, I think, like, owns or owns some of the island or something. She's been shacked in the same spot for like 70 years. She's kind of what you call a local legend. She has a house on the other side of the woods. Man, that woman won the life lottery. 70 years of sleeping with the window open and smelling the ocean. You'd be okay with never leaving. Never leaving. Just there. All the time. Well, I don't know. Maybe I'd get bored with the same scenery, the same parrot screaming at me. Well, of course you'd get bored. You're bored here. Jonas, did you know that a little birdie told me that our Alex here is thinking of going out of state to college? Oh, really? Yeah, so... And did this little birdie tell everyone he did Susie Lyons even though it was only over the pants stuff? Uh... <sighs> Just because Mark spends his study hall at the advisory board doesn't mean he's allowed to look through our submissions. Look, Alex, I just... If you are thinking of leaving, I just hope you're doing it for the right reasons. That's all. That's my whole spiel. I'm not even sure yet, Ren, okay? I have no idea where I'm gonna go, so... Okay, okay, that's all I wanted to hear. I said my piece. Ren, why do you even care about this? Oh, I don't know, maybe because you're my friend, and I'll miss you if you go, that's what a friend does, they miss the other person. And I don't want you to regret anything. So, yeah, never mind. Oh, Ren, you big knucklehead. I'd miss you too, okay? But for now, I'm not gone yet, and who knows what I'm gonna do, so... Alright, alright. Oh, you two are like kittens in a paper sack. <laughs> oh, no, what is that? It's a saying. No, it isn't. <laughs> Dude, can I ever go to the cliffs? Oh my god, I can actually go. Holy crap, that's the longest conversation ever. I'll never be able to talk in this game, like, ever, will I? Like, ever. 
I'm noticing that's like a thing now. It's like, oh yeah, dude, you want, you want to talk, dude? You want to talk? Yeah, dude, you don't ever get to talk, dude. He don't get to talk, dude. He don't want to talk, dude. He don't to talk, dude. <clears throat> oh, um, uh, before we get there, I should, I should probably mention that. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Who's that? That's, so, there's this girl, Nona. She's just this girl, and I'm totally into her, and I want her to be into me, so just, you know, j just be cool, okay? John, no what are you doing? complaining or anything, all right? Deal? Ren, relax. Oh, and okay, Jonas, now that we're dumpster buddies, what was the thing that you said to Alex back there? Do you have one of those vestigial tales or something? Uh, it was nothing, really. Just leave it alone, Ren, all right? You don't have to hear everything. I don't have to hear everything, but I want to hear everything. Reginald, I hear you over there. Hey, guys. Wait, I was saying... I was about to tell a story. What was it? About Jones, Brad's car? Oh, well, hey. We started a fire down the way, but Nona wanted to play beach nanny, so... Uh, yeah. Everyone, this is Jonas. Jonas? Everyone. Hey. Hi. And Jonas, that's... Who are you again? Jonas. Jonas. He's Alex's new in town, fresh as the daisy stepbrother. Stepbrother? Really? Yeah, I know. It's a trip, right? Yeah, he's a cool guy from cool North Valley, so let's all try and show him a good time. <laughs> Just the beach and some beer will be enough, I'm sure. Wait, wait, wait. You're Jonas. Jonas, the stepbrother. Yeah. Um, what's your name again? That is Clarissa. How but are she's... you her stepbrother? Like, what does that even mean? Um... I'll give you three guesses. <laughs> Her mom's getting remarried, that's all. She's getting remarried to a guy, and that's the guy's son. So, domino effect? Domino Yeah, well, I guess this is happening now. This is a thing that is happening, so... Oh, I already don't like you. I Where's everyone like else? You. Nicole had that tennis thing. And? There's nobody else coming. We're it. What? Clarissa, we... <laughs> we took the last ferry. I thought more would show up, but... <laughs> oh my god, it's just Alex and her new stepbrother? You wanna fight, kid? Let's go! Uh, that's who you brought. That's... Clarissa, seriously, who even invited you? Um, uh, I did. Ren invited Nona, and Nona invited me. Though, begged me would maybe be the better way to put it. Uh, I didn't. I didn't really beg. Wait, aren't you all, like, friends? I'm friends with Nona, and I'm downgrading Ren to, like, a creepy neighbor. And you I just met. <laughs> Well, yeah. sorry. I accept your apology. What did I do? You see, Jonas, normally this is like a 20 deep rager, but Pat had a party last weekend and... And a bunch of kids got caught TPing the school. But this is great, right? We're on Edwards Island. Forget those losers who couldn't handle the weekend, who didn't think we could make it, who lost my invitation, who had to go on their... Faster. We've been hearing about this for years, and now we're gonna do it. This is gonna be amazing, right? Right, guys? Yeah. Yeah, the beach, island stuff. Yeah. Can I go now? No more dialogue? All right, we're good. Holy crap, dude, am I ever gonna be able to talk in this game? Like, holy, holy shit, dude. Like, never talk, dude. Just, just never talk, dude. Also, I'm with like, uh, Calistra, uh, Cal uh, Clarissa, Clarissa, that's her name. Why can I not say that name? You, female, redhead, you've made the list. And you think he's not real? I have a notepad Fire. on my desk. Man's dude. great equalizer. So, what's the, um, what's the, like, thing to do here? Other than obviously go skinny dipping and get murdered by Jason Kruger. Well, I'm up for pretty much whatever, so. Hey, where does that old woman live? Oh, you mean Maggie Adler? Yeah. Nowhere. She's dead. What? Yep, killed over three days ago. It was all over the news. Local news, anyway. Oldest living resident. Oh, that's sort of a bummer. Yeah, well, we all gotta go sometime. In her case, later than sooner. And to answer your previous question, Jonas, the thing to do is lay on the beach and drink till you can't remember where you are. And sometimes play truth or slap. Yeah, let's play that. We can inaugurate Jonas. Ease him into the night's festivities. Isn't it a uh, truth or dare? This is better than truth or dare because nobody ends up licking somebody's butthole. 
You get asked a question. You have to tell the truth, but if somebody can prove that you lied, the accuser gets to slap you. It's a good, uh, getting to know somebody game. Unless you lie a lot. Yeah, fun. An excuse to hit run. Hey, I'm the truthiest truth, whoever truth, All right, uh, let's just get on with it. Great. Okay, so, first, we're gonna- I'll start. Ren. Uh-huh. Come on, fess up. You wanna go out with Nona, right? Clarissa! Wait, wait, wait! I wanna hear the- Oh, man. You're good at this. Well, if being good means being kinda mean about it. Look, it's tough to gauge. Uh, something mm -hmm. like- Enough stalling. I know you wanna sample the goods, now just no. say so. I, I mean, I- I, I like her all as right, a friend, right? Uh, if she that's, asks, she probably I just like her as a friend. Like her. That's that's all. Or she likes she's you. She's cool. She's she's just a friend. All right. Great. Let's just move on. Okay, it's Ren's turn, right? He gets to ask somebody something. Alex, Alex, Alex. <laughs> uh oh. I just have to think <laughs> about which nerve I want to so delicately pinch. Oh please, shoot! I can take it. Okay, Mary, screw, kill. Me, Nona, and Clarissa. Why? <laughs> it's fun. Uh, it's funny. I don't know. And Jonas is family now, technically. So he's excluded. I hate Clarissa. Here's well, I'd marry Nona. I like the quiet types. I'm flattered, I think. I think. <laughs> <laughs> okay, you're going down the line. Who'd you do the dirty with? I'd do Ren. We know each other the best, so it'd be like less weird. And you're in a band. You know what it means. Yeah. You're, you're on the list, I kid. Those lessons would come in handy. Which, of course, means that you'd strangle Clarissa in her sleep if you ever got the chance. What a shocker. <laughs> eh, she got what was coming to her. Yeah, I mean, you did shove her into the community pool in sixth grade. <laughs> I did, didn't I? I was a hilarious kid. I like you, dude. You made list twice in one day, dude. That's the record. So, Alex's turn? Yep. Ladies' choice. Alex gets to pick who to ask something of. Oh, great. Here we go. What's your favorite stuffed animal? Professor Snodgrass, the platypus man? Um, Nona. <laughs> yes? All right. Let's, uh, make it something... Do you like Ren? Oh, Jesus. Can we just stop with the whole me and Nona thing, <laughs> please? I'm, I'm that type of course she doesn't. She barely likes anybody. She's like an amoeba. I'd like to hear this from her. Thank you. You don't have to answer. I like Ren like a friend. Like, it, uh, I mean, he's he's a nice guy. You're you're a nice guy, and uh, we goof off, and yeah, you know. Ta-da! All is right with the world. Oh, shut up. <laughs> um, <laughs> Nona, you're up. Wow. Oh, uh, Clarissa. If you had to get a tattoo, what would it be? Hmm. A, a chick dolphin. riding a motorcycle on fire. She didn't ask you. A dolphin, right? Or a butterfly with like a Native American poem written above it. I'd get like a little ampersand on my ring finger. I think I actually am gonna get that after I move out, so my parents can't say no. Neat. Clarissa's turn now. Alex, you got a new brother. Pretty oh, exciting. Great. Here we go. I'm sure Jonas is excited, or maybe <clears throat> excited isn't the right word. Maybe a little overwhelmed with just everything, you know? Unsure. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to take in and adjust to. What's your uh -huh. point, Clarissa? I'm just saying what Jonas is already thinking. That statistics show if you get divorced once, you're probably gonna <sighs> get divorced again. And the fact is, your mom divorced your dad. So let's put his mind at ease and hear why. Get. Okay, just get to whatever point this is getting to. The point is, why'd your parents get a divorce? Just so Jonas can hear it from you. Clarissa, I don't really care why- You know why. Michael died and it broke everything and they couldn't handle it, the end. Well, now you know, Jonas. Don't die and everything will oh, be fine. Oh, you've been list three times, dude. Okay, no Clarissa. One's ever did what? Actually, it's you know, guys, honestly, I think I'm pretty much ready to do anything else besides this game. Wait, let's let's not stop like this. We should, like... The game's over, Ren. I won. And to celebrate, I'm going to sit on the beach and drink and maybe, if I'm feeling spicy, even take a nap. Maybe we could and get... And that's exactly what Nona's going to do, too. Fine. fine. Whatever, be Miss Pouty on the beach all night if you want. I'm not gonna let you ruin this for me. I appreciate your permission Jeez. to be pouty, thank you. Cheese! Yeah. If you guys in your scavenger hunt or playing Ring Around the Rosy happen to find anything more interesting than a slowly dying starfish, you be sure to just let me know. Super. 
No, you won't. Uh, if we find anything more interesting than that, I think we'll be too involved in our own fun to come get you. Well, wouldn't you know it? That's just fine by me. <laughs> I don't like her. You were hoping well, you can't die with game, kids. This bitch you're, by you're on my the list. Four don't times. I come? No one's ever made it four uh, times. I mean, I would. I'm but... very clingy, Ren. <sighs> fine. Jonas, you're a strapping young lad. Help boost me over the fence. The cave's just, uh, yonder. And I guess you expect me to just jump over after? Well, like I said, you're a strapping young lad. Okay, come on. Where are you from again? It's a small town near North Valley. Oh yeah, is it nice? If you like bars on the windows. Alex, you wanna check out the caves, or...? Sure. Yeah, let's do it. You mean better than being here over? Yeah, come on. Let's that beer, dude. <laughs> come on, I'll push you oh. over. Oh, I forgot, we never talked about Whenever John. you're ready. Oh, what, their date? So, the cave. What's your bets? On a scale of one to ten, how weird's it gonna be? Uh, five. Mm, probably a five? Weird enough to remember, but not weird enough to tell anybody about it after. <laughs> All right. Hey, Chris seems to be her normal annoying self. Sorry about that. Uh, what's her deal? Yeah, what's her deal anyway? I don't know. That woman's perpetually on her period. Uh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's true. Kind of. Thanks for, uh, not ratting me out to Nona during the, uh, the game. I didn't think you would, but you know, you could have and you didn't, so thanks. Well, you can make the checks out to cash. We'll have an installment plan. Whatever it takes. Now, who's ready to have their minds blown? If you don't mean that literally, I am. Me, me, me. Oh, wait, actually, I almost forgot. Gonna take a little magic trip to Cupcake Town. Those look like brownies. Oh, you're the only one? Gimme. <laughs> oh no, these are just for me. I've been waiting a long time for this. Yeah, maybe it's best he's the test balloon for this anyway. Also, it's hmm. an, oh, it's an animal. Delicious. Oh, okay, so see these little piles of rocks? Oh, the kids before us always leave them here, so you know where to try and tune in the signals. I that he had food, dude. So you're gonna want to stand serious. basically right around here. And just tune the dial left or right until you start hearing some weirdness. How will we know when it's... We'll go. Holy crap! Wow, it's even cooler than I thought it would be. This is insane. What is it? What's doing it? Maybe the tuning's like unblocking a weather balloon or something? <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Well, it's just crazy, then, because I don't know. If you move around, it kind of changes, too, I think. Like, over at this pile. Here, come over here and try it. Hey, it's Morse code. Well, I don't know Morse code, so it doesn't even know. I guess I'm grounding this way. It's not this way. This is so cool. I know! Clarissa and Nona should see this, right? I mean, I know it's like weird with you guys or whatever for some reason, but they, they're evil. fine where they are. She to okay, die. just Stay what here, is dude. Clarissa's issue with you two? The problem is that she's a monster who can't help monstering out on everybody. Clarissa dated her brother Mike for a little while way back when. She should just seriously get over it already. Clarissa's the kind of person who doesn't feel full unless she's pissed at somebody, so... Whew. Brownies are kicking in. Oh, that no. makes sense? Yeah, it was indeed that one. Kind of? I got it. Okay, good. Now, there's another cool spot, I think, over here. <laughs> Alright. If you want to bring it on over... Take a look. Yeah, it 
it sounds so... Yeah, it sounds... Uh... Dang. Satanic. Not what I was gonna say. But close enough. Wait, what was that? 